Hey guys, Zach here. Welcome to part two of the Game Developer Showcase. I have three more games here ready to go. I think they're phenomenal. I've been getting so many emails and results of people saying, hey, I was able to make this game because of your tutorials. I think that's so cool. Uh, here are three games, one of which is on Steam right now, and I think is a really cool game. He said it hasn't been getting any traction, so uh, that's the first game here. I want you guys to check that out no matter what, and enjoy. Our first game is Ravager. It's an open world 2D platformer that is inspired by Norse mythology. It takes you and your 12 characters across the land to free its people of the threat of the trolls. This is a game sent in to me by a longtime subscriber, and he said he just recently put this game up on Steam and nobody's really seen it. So I have a link in the description to check out this game. It actually looks really cool as well. He said he put a lot of work into it. So go ahead and check it out in the description and we'll see what you think. All right, so our second game is sort of an odd platformer game, but it's called, Is That Bird Holding a Cat? And I picked this game because of its unique art style. It looks really cool and it has a very interesting gameplay mechanic. Basically what you're doing is you are this bird that has to carry this cat around the level with you, but you also play as the cat as well. So now you can come up with different puzzles and different things like that. I thought this looked pretty cool, so go ahead and check it out. This game was created by another longtime subscriber. And essentially what you have to do is you have two robots and you control both robots with the same keys. What you have to do is get both robots in the same position. And so you can use these power-ups that you're seeing here, which are these green orbs, to reverse the robot uh, and get them into the same position. So a couple of difficulties I had with this game was that you don't really see where the hazards are in the game. You just kind of die. If you run into a wall, you die. Uh, I think what he should do is go back and level design and maybe make that more apparent. So maybe put spikes on the walls or something like that to show that, hey, if you just run into a regular wall, you're not going to die. But I actually had fun playing this game, and I think you should check it out. The link is in the description. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the games. Go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and share the video, that helps me out tremendously. And if you want to have your game in the next Game Developer Showcase, the link is in the description. It's CodyMadeSimple.com slash showcase. You simply put in the, the description of your game, you can submit it through the, uh, the form on the website, and you can have your game on the next episode. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!